Excuse me, when I met you, I promised to do everything possible to make sure that you would not be reelected. We are on the brink of nuclear war with Russia. We are witnessing a genocide in Gaza. We have the two worst possible congressional candidates anywhere in the country. These two candidates have no daylight by, between them. They support sending billions of dollars of weapons to Ukraine. If we have a nuclear war, everyone in here is going to be dead, and no one is even discussing this. It is the forum. There is no forum. There is massive censorship in this country, and our I live in Rockland County, and I don't know what to do. I have never seen such a disgusting choice of non-candidates for the ballot who are totally run by the military industrial complex the censorship state does anyone here care what's going on in Gaza right now do you care if Israel launches against Iran no and how about the state of New York New York was once the number one manufacturing state why should you continue? You're just here lying. No, there is no time. There is absolutely no time. No, there is no time, and I think we should demand that our elected officials actually talk about reality. The reality is we have massive hyperinflation. We're facing a breakdown of the entire transatlantic financial system, and the state of New York the drug overdose rate has been going at the same, and now you're going to, yes, I'm Diane Sayre, and I am running for U.S. Senate, and I got 70,000 signatures to get on the ballot, and I can tell you that the majority of the American people are tired of war. You are not going to allow me. No, this is just a complete fraud and a sham. And I can't believe people here act like this is legitimate. We don't have fair elections in this nation. And we don't have a choice for U.S. Congress. What? Respecting what? The residents of Palisades do not want to die in a nuclear war. Do you want to die in a nuclear war? Do you want to know what to do about the economy? I don't think so. No, they haven't. Sit down and listen to the rest of the debate or leave. That's your choice. There is nothing. Oh, good. Then let's get the police here and they can remove me because our nation is going to hell. Did you notice that? He's been in the Congress for two years. He has not stopped Joe Biden from implementing policies which are going to get us all killed. Did anyone notice that? Did you notice that we have political prisoners in jail? Good luck. You have a microphone. Thank God, because we don't want to hear any more of this. Good luck. I'm much nicer than you are. Are you going to tackle me? I would love to see when the police come. I wish more people would reject this garbage. And the both parties stink. The parties stink. They're rotten. They're going to get us killed. Do you want to pay $5 a gallon for gasoline? How about $5 for a dozen eggs? Do you want your children to be turned into lunatics in the public schools? That's what we're dealing with in this country. I came to meet with you, and you told me that we had to have... No, it was a year and a half ago. And you today, said that we should that keep that arming I Ukraine. Represented this district and done everything I can in Washington. That is and not true. If he had done everything he could, Joe uh, Biden wouldn't be running the country crisis. still. We have a crisis at our southern border, and yes, we have crises around the globe. We are okay, the so now we're going to see if two, I am removed from this meeting. We have.
once again, I would appreciate it if you would take up the issue of thermonuclear war. In China, Russia, Iran, they are working in an unholy alliance to undermine and destabilize the United States. We have an unholy alliance. We have an unholy alliance between these parties.